My name is Marie Arana. My book is Silver, Sword, and Stone. It's a tapestry that combines three elements that I think have actually defined Latin America, Latin American culture, and the people that represent Latin America today. I'm reminded of my own grandmother, uh, Rosa Cisneros Arana, who always used to tell me, in our families, we strive to have a son that is a banker, a son that is a bishop, and a son that is a general. Now, what, does, to what do those three things mean? Well, to me, silver, which represents the exploitation and the extraction of all the riches in Latin America, which is something that has gone on for a millennium, at least. Sword, very deep association with violence throughout its history, and still today remaining a very important aspect of Latin American culture. And the last is stone, faith, religion, the way it has been imposed for millennia. I think that the great challenge that we have in understanding Latin America is that it has always been perceived through the eye of the conqueror. The Spanish chroniclers came through, they were the ones who were taking down history. Their chronicles were the ones that became historical record. And what my book tries to do is bring back those, the, the ghosts in the machinery, the people who were not recorded, and that exists in the blood of all of us who, who call ourselves Latin American. In many ways, Latin America is a happy place, a wonderful place full of um, warmth and family, uh, love, music, literature. But for all the advancements that we've made, there is always a, a kind of nervousness afoot in Latin America because we all know that it could go in a minute. There has been, uh, through history, there has been a pattern of um, a, a kind of rebellion that is followed by dictatorship, that is then followed by repression, and then that comes back to rebellion. And we have seen this happen again and again. Why? This book tries to explain that. <laughs>